Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She got that name from her red coat, which was given to her by her grandmother. One day, Grandma got sick. Little Red Riding Hood's mom prepared lunch for Grandma and asked Little Red Riding Hood to take it to her. Here you go, Little Red Riding Hoods. This is Grandma's lunch. Please take care, go straight to Grandma and don't deviate from the road. Okay, Mom. She answered and went to take lunch to her grandmother. On the way to her grandmother, she saw beautiful forest flowers and started to pick them. She wanted to make a beautiful bouquet for her grandmother. Every flower that was deeper in the forest seemed more and more beautiful to her. She soon forgot her mother's warning. It was late, two eyes were already watching on her. Hello, little girl, what's your name? Little Red Riding Hood. Where did you go? I'm going to Grandma's. She is sick. Where does your grandmother live? At the end of the forest. The wolf has already come up with a cunning plan. Okay, I have to go now. Bye. Answered the wolf and rushed towards the grandmother's house to get there before Little Red Riding Hood. He knocked on the door. Who is? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, bringing you lunch. Said the wolf in a changed voice. Come in, it's open. The wolf came in and ate the grandmother. He quickly changed into grandmother's clothes and lay down in her bed to wait for Little Red Riding Hood. Soon Little Red Riding Hood came and knocked on the door. Come in, it's open. Little Red Riding Hood looked at the wolf and asked. Grandma, Grandma, why are your eyes so big? To see you better. Grandma, Grandma, why are your ears so big? To hear you better. Grandma, Grandma, why is your mouth so big? To eat you easily. He ate Little Red Riding Hood. Tired from a hard day, the wolf laid down in bed and fell asleep. The hunter was passing by the house. He entered the house and freed Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood. Voices from website, voicebooking.com The Wolf and the Seven Little Goats Once upon a time, there was a goat who had seven little kids. She loved her kids more than anything in the world, just like any mother loves her children. One day, she went to the market to buy food for her kids. Dear children, I am going to the market to buy food, and you must be good and watch out for the wolf. Do not open the door for him. He will try to deceive you with various tricks, but you will easily recognize him by his rough voice and black paws. Go without worry, mommy. We will be careful and won't open the door to him. The goat said goodbye to her kids and went peacefully into the forest. The wolf, who was lurking nearby, saw the goat leave and waited a bit, then sneaked up to the window and peeked inside. When he saw the kids playing happily, he couldn't resist his hunger and immediately knocked on the door. Who is it? It is your mommy. I have returned from the store and brought you something nice. We will not open the door, you are not our mommy. Her voice is gentle and soft, and yours is rough and harsh. We know who you are, you are the wolf. 
The wolf ran to the nearest shop and bought some honey to soften his voice. He returned to the goat's house and knocked on the door again. Open the door. Children, your mommy is back and has brought you something nice. Wait, remember what mother told us. First, show us your paw, and if it's white, we'll open the door. The other kids agreed with their wise brother. Slide your paw under the door so we can see, then we'll open it. The wolf made a mistake and slid his paw under the door. When the kids saw that it was black, they refused to open the door. We will not open the door, you are not our mommy. Her paw is white as snow, and yours is black. The wolf quickly devised a new trick. He went to the bakery and secretly took some flour, which he used to whiten his paws. Coming back to the house for the third time, he knocked on the door. Open the door. Dear children, your mommy is back and has brought you something nice. Show us your paw. The wolf showed his paw. Seeing that it was white, the kids thought their mother had really returned and opened the door. The wolf rushed inside. When the kids realized they had been deceived they started to run and hide. The wolf found almost all the kids and swallowed them except the youngest. Since he was already full he didn't he want to look for him further. He went outside lay down under a tree to rest and fell asleep. Soon the mother goat returned home. Seeing the door wide open she ran as fast as she could. The house was a mess and the goat immediately knew what had happened. She sat on a chair and started crying. Hearing their mother's crying, the youngest kid came out of the wall clock and ran to her. Through tears, he told his mother everything that had happened. The two went outside for a walk and saw the wolf sleeping under a tree. The mother immediately thought of her kids. In her own way, she freed her children from the wolf's stomach and instead filled it with stones. When the wolf woke up, he was very thirsty. He went to the river to drink some water, leaned oh. over, but the stones pulled him in and he fell into the river which carried him far away from the kids and their home to a completely different place. Animation, Yelena Ristek. Voices from the website, voicebooking.com. Music from the website, zapsplat.com.